Hello there! Did you guys ever wonder how you could make your AI look more natural, especially while moving? Well, that's one thing called steering behaviors which can help you. But first, in order to understand them, please check GTQuest's video about Vectors Math. This one is more or less an application of Vectors Math, which GDQuest and I are collaborating to show you. To talk about steering behaviors, first let's talk about the problem they solve. When you are developing a game with AI, you of course want it to be as natural as a conscious being. One of the main problems you face is the movement, how you can make them move naturally. For instance, take a look at a simple fall the player implementation. Did you see? The movement is uh, what people from the era call Oh my god, I forgot my clock! It is a subtle movement, instantly moving towards a target, abruptly changing the road. In order to fix that, they come with a solution. What if, instead of moving straight towards the target, the AI gradually changing the road? That's what it is. Basically, the AI will be moving directly to the target, but we will be applying a force to keep it out of the desired road, by moving it a little bit every frame until the desired road meets the steering road. By doing so, the movement will become smoother. To do this, let's start our recipe by adding a kinematic body 2D. Since we'll be applying physical forces, I think it is a good starting point. Then add a sprite node as a child just for visual feedback. Everything else will basically be done within a script, so let's abstract the logic. The algorithm is pretty simple. Take the desired velocity which is the force straight to the target at full speed. Then create a steer force, which is the difference of the desired velocity and the current one. After that, apply the steering force to the current velocity. The steer is a very strong force, so multiply it by some lower force to cap it down. Set the current velocity to be the new steered velocity. And we are done. Now we just need to implement it with GD script. So inside the kinematic body to this script, let's add our data first. We will need a maximum speed constant to set the velocity of the character, a maximum force to cap the steering force. This is used as a smooth control. The lower, the smoother. Let's also create an empty vector two for the velocity and a variable of the target position which the character will move to. Initially, it will be moving to the initial position of the character, so, well, it won't be moving at all. Turn on the fixate process callback inside the ready callback. This is because we will be always applying the forces. So, let's create a function to do the steering. It will receive a target position to move towards it. Just set a pass to keep it declared, we will be back to it soon. Inside the fixed process, we will set the velocity to whichever value returned for the steering function, and then we will be moving based on it. Don't forget to multiply it by the delta to keep the movement timed in seconds. Now let's go to the steer function. Let's declare a variable to the desired velocity and set its value to be a vector 2 with the values being the difference between the target position and the current position. Let's normalize it so we just have a unit vector with the direction to the target. To give it a magnitude, just multiply it by the max speed constant. Ok, first step, check. Now for the steering force, just subtract from the desired velocity, the current velocity. Yep, that's it, check. 
As for the target velocity, just add the steering force multiplied by the max force constant to the current velocity. Done and done. Now let's set the target position as the return of the function, so it can be used as the new velocity value. Check. And now we just have to set the target variable. For testing purposes, let's set it to be the mouse position. If everything went fine, that's how it should look like. That's what's called in steering the seek behavior. Just as an observation, there is another behavior called flee, which is pretty simple to implement. You just need to inverse the desired velocity in the steering. To do this, multiply it by minus 1. You can also create a simple state machine to control which kind of behavior you'd like for the AI and inside the steer force, check which is the current behavior and modify the desired velocity as needed. And that's how it should look like. Did you realize that the character is bouncing when it reaches the target position. That's another problem solved with another steering behavior which we will use in the next video. We will also talk about a more contextualized application for these behaviors. Well, the link to the project in the GitHub is on the description below. That's all for now guys. If you have any doubts or something didn't get clear to you, leave a comment below. Oh, and if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. That's it, keep developing and you'll tune the next time.